Hello, everyone, and welcome to my tour. Duh. Oh, hello, everyone. And welcome to my tutorial on how to create a time lapse using Photoshop. Now, with Photoshop, it, there's a very easy function, um, either in CS4, or CS5, possibly CS3, but with the extended editions. Now, with these extended editions, pretty much you go into open, and then you will go to your folder of pictures and I have several here I'm just going to do dust you click on the first image and click image sequence press open you set your frame rate I like 24 press OK if you're doing uh, stop animation you could do 12 8 whatever fits your needs then you go to window and you hit animation to bring up your bar here. At this point, you could do any sort of adjustments if you wish. You could add some curves. Then say you want to add some nice saturation. You could look through here. It looks okay. Looking all right very good go to file export render video pops up here you could title it then you're gonna want your size to be HDTV 1080p 19 1920 by 1080 go to settings Settings, make sure that your compression type is not at animation. Otherwise, you'll get a lot of skipping and somewhat piece of shit video. Make it H.264. Then at that point, you choose what frame rate you had. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you want good shit, you got to make it the best quality. Press OK. Then go over to Size and make that 1920 by 1080 HD HD alrighty and alrighty and then you will double check that double check that looks good quick time export all frames sure sure 24 yeah render oh I already did this so I'll show you how it turns out When you're finished, you have a masterpiece. And you literally, it took like, what, five minutes? Have a great day. Go out, enjoy all the time I just saved you by using Photoshop instead of going in individually, adjusting each frame in Avid or Final Cut, a video editor. This pretty much puts it all together for you at a reasonable frame rate. Looks good. You got like editing controls. If you wanted to, if you had one image in there, for example, and you wanted to get rid of it, it it'd be somewhat difficult to cut it out in Photoshop. So your best bet would be going to the the folder that you selected all of your where you selected the first image of the sequence and physic delete it from there. Um, and then that is about it. Um, thank you for watching my tutorial. Have a good day.